Ryden, are you all right? Ryden? Ryden! Ray's head section with the Stinger missile. The mass production Metal Gear is unmanned. It's probably under the control of GW, the Arsenal Gear AI. A chaff attack should cause electronic interference and confuse Ray for a moment. Use the opportunity to fire a Stinger into it. Use the sword to deflect Ray's machine gun fire. You can't move while you're aiming with the stinger, but hitting the R2 button will let you do a quick change of weapons. If you see Ray getting ready to attack, use the quick change to deselect the stinger and get the hell out of there. Approach Ray with extreme caution. There's no way you'll survive being stepped on. Even if you manage to get out of the way, you'd probably get knocked off your feet by the impact. You'd be wide open to an attack. However, if you drop and roll at just the right time, you should be able to get away without losing your footing. Ray's missile targeting system doesn't seem to be very effective against targets within close range. You could try going in really close. For a last-ditch evasion from an attacking ray, try dropping and rolling. A well-timed roll could come in handy. Mass production ray models were designed to flank arsenal gear. Their system probably isn't equipped to take on human opponents, and the scale of their movement should be larger and clumsier than yours. Keep moving and you'll have your chance. Don't give up. Raiden, watch out for Ray's guided missiles. They have heat warheads, designed for anti-tank or anti-warship purposes, so it's probably not intended for anti-personnel use, but you still won't survive a direct assault. It's probably also equipped with an image-guided tracking head. The guided system is quite advanced, but it's not designed as an anti-personnel weapon, so you should be able to jam it with some chaff. You should also be able to evade it if you keep moving. Dodge by rolling. Ray shoots a jet of super-pressurized water from its mouth. Fundamentally, it's a hydro cutter, but the power is on a completely different scale. The moment Ray opens its mouth is your chance to attack. Shooting a stinger into Ray's mouth should inflict some real damage. Metal Gear Ray was originally designed by the Marines as a countermeasure against other Metal Gear variations. But the mass-produced model is only based on the Marines' design. It's been redesigned to guard Arsenal gear. Now it protects another Metal Gear. I heard all this from Emma. It seems that the mass production model Metal Gear Rays have cooperative engagement capability with GW as the primary control system. Several Rays can connect with Arsenal gear and mutually exchange data. Within this unified domain, all Rays can cooperatively manage threats through notification, pursuit, and interception. 
all in a lifelike manner. All for one and one for all. There's no weak spot. When protected by a pack of rays, Arsenal gear can move without cruisers or destroyers as escorts. The engine system of Metal Gear Ray appears to be outfitted with artificial muscle tissue. The artificial muscle consists of actuators that resemble human muscle tissue. It's made of a macromolecular fiber that conducts electricity. This system is different from ordinary engines based on mechanical activators and oil pressure. It's capable of many different kinds of movement using a single kind of engine. In other words, it's capable of performing a complex series of motions smoothly and effortlessly. Ray's movements are both quick and precise. Be careful! Ray's armor is made of a state-of-the-art ceramic titanium alloy. A network of simple sensor arrays stretches around the body, including conductive nanotubes that connect the surface and the interior of the armor. When the condition of the armor changes, self-diagnostic systems located throughout the armor detect and respond to this change, like a network of autonomic reflex nerves. This acts as a damage control response system performing functions such as shutting down a damaged section or rerouting signals through auxiliary circuits. At the same time, any holes and tears in the armor are repaired to some degree by a kind of nano paste that's secreted automatically from valves near the damaged area. This nano paste almost makes Ray seem like it's bleeding. You probably won't be able to pierce Ray's armor with the weapons you're carrying. You'll have to aim for the head where the armor is relatively thin. Aim for the head using Stinger missiles. Mass production ray models were designed to flank. Raiden! Raiden!